I'm gonna show you how to make Carolina Claymores. And the most important ingredient is world's hottest pepper. A big thanks to Napoleon Grills for sponsoring this episode. Carolina is pig country. That's why we're gonna use a rack of ribs that come from North Carolina. It's a beautiful rack of ribs with beautiful dark color on the meat, loads of intermuscular fat, and all we need to do to prepare it is cut it in half. To make sure you get a tender experience, I'm gonna remove the membrane from the ribs. For the seasoning of these ribs, I'm gonna make a home-style barbecue rub. Starting with two tablespoons of salt, two tablespoons of paprika powder, two tablespoons of onion powder, half a tablespoon of garlic powder, and that's how you make Pitmaster Rex's classic barbecue rub. Literally too easy, you can do it too. Now, all I need to do now is sprinkle a little bit of that barbecue rub onto these ribs to get some flavor on. Of course, we're gonna do this on both sides. Looking good. And now they are ready to hit the barbecue. I'll be cooking on the Napoleon Kettle Grill Pro. This is one of my favorite kettle grills to use because it is perfect for smoking. Let me show you how it's done. We're gonna open it up, take out the cast iron grill grate, load it up with Napoleon's charcoal briquettes. Maybe 20 to 25 briquettes will do the job. Don't overload your kettle grill with fuel, otherwise you're gonna have a hard time keeping that temperature under control. I'm gonna put in two fire starters, stick them underneath the briquettes, and then I'll light them up. With these briquettes, I don't have to use any smoke wood to add more flavor to it because it's already in the briquettes. Let me show you. See that? These little spots here? Well, that's actual wood that sits inside these briquettes and that's gonna give us plenty of smoke. After about 10, 15 minutes, the charcoal briquettes are lit. Then it's time to put the grill grates on, put the ribs on, close the lid and let them smoke. I'm keeping my top vent completely open and I'm setting my bottom vent almost all the way closed. I think it's about time that I explain you why I call these the Carolina Claymores. Claymore, because we're gonna make them nice and spicy. But the reason I introduced the term Carolina is because of the Carolina Reaper. This is currently the official hottest pepper in the world. And it scares me, it, it really does scare me. I'm wearing gloves and I'm actually scared to put this on my cutting board. Being scared of it is probably a very sensible thing because if you rub this in your eye, you're gonna be crying for a long time. Well, I'm gonna be crying for, I don't wanna cry for that long. There are actually people that eat these raw. I'm not that person. I love the way my body functions and I don't want to do anything to disrupt that. But I'm going to turn this into a delicious hot sauce that you and me are going to love. Even if you're not a heat freak, you're going to love this hot sauce. And I'm going to show you what to do with it to make the delicious Carolina Claymores. For the recipe, I'll be needing two of the world's hottest peppers, a whole bulb of garlic and six tomatoes. First, I'm going to remove the stems of the tomatoes. I'm going to turn the tomatoes upside down and make a cross in the bottom. For the bulb of fresh garlic, I'm removing the top and that's how I prepare my ingredients to be smoked. I'm going to place them on the Napoleon grill directly over the coals so they pick up a little bit of heat, some smoke flavor, and I'm going to let them sit there until they're almost fully cooked. All the ingredients are now soft and smoked. Look at that, super, super juicy. And the first thing that I wanna do is remove the stems from the tomato. And then I'm gonna put them in my blender. Then I'm going to peel the garlic, take out the cloves, put them in the blender as well. And the last part is, of course, world's hottest pepper. And as you can see, we smoked it, it turned soft. I'm going to take off the stock like that. I'm gonna keep in all of the seeds and we're gonna put it in the blender as well. There we go. Just pop it in. We're almost done with this hot sauce. The only thing it needs now is some acidity, some sweetness, something that would turn it into a real hot sauce. A tablespoon of salt, two tablespoons of sugar, a tablespoon of Worcester sauce, a tablespoon of mustard, and two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. And then grind it all up in your blender. Careful now, because that is your hot sauce. 
Now, this is the moment that you need to do the taste test to make sure that it tastes the way you want it to taste. Because now you can still add ingredients. I hope so, it's diluted enough. I'm just gonna take a little bit. Oh, it tastes freaking amazing. <laughs> but it's so hot. Ah. Wow. That is some seriously hot sauce. Remember, I didn't even take a teaspoon. It's like just a few drops. Oh man. You wanna try some? <laughs> oh, come on. Just like a little, a little, little bit. Oh, there's a claymore. Well, I think we established that the hot sauce is hot. Now I'm gonna give you one last trick, which is take these pots, and I absolutely love these, and I get them from my honey. I just reuse the pots that come with my honey, and then I fill them up with the hot sauce. There we go, like that. Leave a little bit of space for air. Close them up. Place them in a pan, fill the pan with water, bring it to a boil, let it cool down again, and that's how I store my hot sauces for up to two months. Let's quickly check on the status of our ribs, and hoo -hoo, look at that, they picked up a beautiful red smoke color. That is what I wanna see on my ribs. It means we got the smoke flavor on the ribs that we need to make them real barbecue ribs. The ribs are ready to be wrapped up, but that means we need to continue with our barbecue sauce journey. Because we made a hot sauce, not a barbecue sauce. This is going to be the base for my barbecue sauce. And then you know it's gonna be hot. It's gonna be spicy barbecue sauce, not a hot. This is getting confusing. I'm going to take a tablespoon of our hot sauce, add two cups of ketchup, a quarter cup of molasses, a quarter cup of honey, and a tablespoon of the Pit Masterix Classic Barbecue Rub. Bring that to a boil, mix it up, and that's how you make spicy Carolina barbecue sauce. Wow, what a beautiful sauce. And you can see that it has a high sugar content because of its shine. The shine is what it makes look good. Now, of course, we also need to perform a taste test, a proper taste test. Ooh. A little bit of spiciness, but sweet, sour, spicy is all the things we love in a good barbecue sauce. With the sauce out of the way, it's time to get the ribs out and place them on the aluminum foil. Look at that beautiful color. <laughs> they look so fine, absolutely gorgeous. They had a good bit of smoke, but as you can see, the bones are not popping yet. This is not done cooking. I'm going to place them with the meat side down, and I'm gonna put on a little bit of that spicy Carolina barbecue sauce. There we go. Save a little for when they're done. Brush it on. Let's flip these around. Brush that sauce on on the other side. There we go. A nice package. And we're going to put these back on the barbecue and turn them into Carolina Claymores. The ribs have been on for two hours and they should be done by now. So let's take a look. Oh, beautiful looking ribs. <laughs> Bones are popping. That's what I'm looking for to see if they're done. You can clearly see here the getting detached from the meat. That's a good sign. I want to get a nice sticky layer on the outside of these ribs, which means they're going to go back on the barbecue. Ooh, hot, hot. A little bit of that spicy Carolina barbecue sauce. And then we transform these ribs into Carolina Claymores. And now they actually look like a claymore. And that's where the name comes from. Look at it. Because what am I going to do? I just brushed on that sauce. I stick them on a couple of skewers. I'm going to place them over the barbecue, over the direct heat. This way I'm going to have a beautiful, perfect crust on the outside of my ribs where the sugars have caramelized and everything is absolutely freaking delicious. <laughs> Carolina claymores. Oh yeah. All right. The proof is in eating the pudding, so there's only one thing we can do, is cut into these and find out if they actually taste good. 
but I can already tell you from what I can see. Look at it. Ooh, those look freaking amazing. Look at how juicy they are. That is literally insane. Beautiful smoke ring, nice bark, juicy as can be. Mm. Mm. Clean of the bone. Huh. Still a bit of bite left. Mm -mm, this is absolutely perfect. The heat is kind of, uh, there I say it, there's not much of the heat left over. You can safely eat this with your kids without having them explode or crying in the corner. It depends. I started with my kids three years old. Spicy ribs. Most funny thing ever. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm.